I'm joined by Shakela Alvaranga. And Shakela, when we look at this map, we can clearly see that all of these incidents have happened in an area of North Las Vegas that's east of Commerce and north of Cheyenne. Yeah, that's right, Christy. And North Las Vegas police, they say the recent uptick in violent crimes is concerning, and they are calling on the public for help. The boy shot that baby three times and ran off. By the time I got to him, all I could do was just hold him and pray for him and just, man, pray to God that he don't die. I hate the violence out here on these streets, man. If I, if I could do something to teach these kids or guide them, I will. It does, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Now, in this latest shooting, the teen was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Authorities are still looking for a suspect. There are violent crimes that happen every day. Um, as law enforcement agent, as a law enforcement agency, it's our job to make sure that we are thorough in everything that we do in locating those suspects. One thing that really helps us out when we have cases like this is the help from the public. It's too early to say if the shooting may have been gang related, but what can we do as a community to prevent this from happening over and over again? Well, parents, talk to your children about gun safety. Have those tough talks and get involved. And a tip for everyone, really, be vigilant. Know your surroundings, no matter where you are. Know the people in your neighborhood and don't be an easy target. Denise. Thanks, Shakela. We mentioned earlier.